Last weekend, the Tampa Convention Center was taken over by more than 7,000 diehard anime, comic book, and video game fans. Many spent months sewing, painting, and handcrafting their costumes. Students from the University of South Florida, like Chris Rogers, joined in on the creativity. It's because it's kind of like an art form. Because it's like, you know, some people like to paint, some people like to film, uh, make music. It's one of those things where you, you can kind of like express yourself in several different ways. You can express yourself through, you know, things like body paint, costume making, um, or when you put things together, it's almost like your body becomes a canvas almost, and you're able to display what you want for a day. Another way of looking at it is if you have a character that you really like, it's a way to portray them like as you see fit, or maybe you have a character you don't necessarily like, you can go out and portray them in the way that you feel they should be portrayed. Uh, for example, you know, some pieces I make myself, like this right here was a uh, Sculpey clay that was speared to come onto my face. Um, this was all custom made, um, you know, body paint, <laughs> my girlfriend's eyeliner, uh, spray painted hair in the morning. So it's definitely something that, you know, it's for everyone, I feel like. The good thing about, you know, being a cosplayer, it allows you to create a connection with people who you don't know. It's kind of an easy icebreaker, a good conversation starter. Um, I just like making costumes, and this is the first time I've ever actually cosplayed at a convention before, and it's been really cool the way that people have like received, like, you know, everyone's loved my costume and everyone's taken pictures with me, and it's just been really cool. Like, everyone else's costumes are incredible, and it's, it's cool the way that, like, everybody is one big family here. Like, you don't know anyone here, but like everyone's so friendly to each other and it's it's just it's awesome like the way everyone treats each other here. At this year's convention, the University of South Florida's Japanese Club hosted the Sakura Made Cafe, an event with musical performances, prizes and games. Proceeds will be donated to the Japanese Red Cross. The cafe lasted for two hours and dozens of guests showed up to play games and be served many desserts for a donation. The club raised $215 from the cafe. We all felt really affected by the tsunami and we figured this would be, we've done a, a May Cafe last year as well, but we decided the profits should go to a good cause and what better than the culture that gave us so much. I, I love MetroCon and I love cosplaying. It's, it's a lot of fun. Some people might think it's childish, but some people might think collecting comic books is childish and it's a fun hobby. It's an excuse to try out my sewing machine. Reporting for USF News, this is Dalena Miller.